Turn the music up. Turn, 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 turn. Turn the music up. Check out the most music in the morning. Hey, this is Justin Timberlake. What's up, y'all? I'm Beyonce. Hey, hey, hey it's Bruno Mars. Hey, what's up? It's Katy Perry. Let's do it. Fully charged with Ed and Megan. What about us? What about us? What about Pink, it's What About Us on Fully Charge. It's four minutes past ten this morning, and we still have Nick Sturzaker. Sturzaker. Sturzy. Call him Sturzy. <laughs> Sturzy. And uh, Andy Ellis, I can say that one because that's quite simple. Yeah, Straightforward. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, before we move on, I have to ask Nick, I don't know if you know, but Home and Away is absolutely massive in Ireland. Like, it is such a staple part of our TV. Okay, yeah, well, I didn't know that, but um, <laughs> it's been on for years in Australia, so it's not something like 20 years, so, I mean, obviously doing good things. Oh, we, we are all very well aware of Pippa and Sally here, and I tell you, when I was in <laughs> university in Limerick, which is in, obviously in Limerick City, um, uh, it, it's shown at lunchtime every day and then repeated again at half past six. We would all go to whatever whoever's house was close to campus, and everyone at lunchtime would watch Home and Away, and then you'd watch it again at half six in case you missed something. Amazing. I can't say that I actually watch it anymore, but I think uh, I'm glad it's making us famous. And I have to say, short, <laughs> Shortland Street as well, it's still on during the day here now. It mightn't have as much... An, Shortland as Street? Do they, yeah. play that, do they play that here? Yeah. Street? Wow. Yeah, probably, uh, I would say it's played at like half past one at night time. I don't think anyone watches No, in the middle of the day. What? Yeah, because if you're home from school sick, you get to watch Shortland Street as well. Oh, wow. Did still, you our, still our most popular show in New Zealand. Is it really? Yeah, yeah? it is. Uh, well, look, we, we've learned a lot about you and I guess yeah, your countries, but it's time you learned uh, something about ours, I guess. And one of which yeah. is the Irish language. It's kind of a language that is really dying out. Not many people speak it anymore. I'm really bad at it, but Megan here is a Gael Gore. She can speak pretty much every word under the sun, right? Um, yeah, well, I, I would have done my education through Gaelge, so I would consider myself a Gael Gore. Now, I know people listening from the Gael might be like, she hasn't a clue what she's saying. But uh, we have put together some of our most popular phrases. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say them, and I'm going to ask you to try translate them as best you can. Well, this is going to be tough, because I, I struggle to actually understand you when you're speaking English. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> Good luck. I think, you know, with this, we need some Irish music. So, uh, yup, all that. Yup, your bios. Let's go. Herbity, herbity, her. Okay, kicking it off. Please translate for me. Unwell Chiadogam Dolgazi and Leheris. Um Andrew. Well, Andy. You're very handsome. <laughs> that, that sounded like a question, so I'm gonna go with how annoying are Englishmen? <laughs> Slightly racist, but uh <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you that Unwell Chiadogam Dolgazi and Leheris means can I please go to the toilet? Oh, no, wow. useful. Okay. That is something that every child learns in this country at the age of four because it's the one question that you have to ask your teacher. If you want to go to the toilet, you have to say it in Irish, even if you're in an English speaking <laughs> yeah. school. You put up your hand, you're like, I'm a cat, I'm the holly. That's what we used to say. Mm. Yeah. All right, you ready for uh, number two? Okay. Zero so points in that one, folks. Ron. If you're though, oh, I think you might have heard this one before. Pogue Mahone. I've got nothing. Pogue Mahone. Where's the local bar? <laughs> Um, good morning. Well, can we can we go through this a second? What would you think "pog" means? "Pog." What does it sound like? A pig. Pog. Okay. And mo. Mo. Oh, mo like off the Simpsons. And hone. Hone. Hone a skill. I think and Ed nearly gave it away that he went hone. So "pog mahone" actually means. And I'm gonna have to say the clean version because it is yeah. morning. Kiss my backside. Okay. Wow. Yeah, so you can say that to anybody. I love it. I'll use that. Pog Mahon. Yeah, but just be careful who you say it to. Um, and finally, very, very popular Irish phrase around here, Sharon Ní Violan. Whereabouts is the shower? Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Sharon Ní Violan is our news reader here <laughs> on, uh, in our it's Irish TV. Name. It's just a Are name. Are you completely having us on then? <laughs> yeah, but you got to go Google Sharon Ní Violan because, uh, well, it's worth a look. Yeah, it most, uh, she's, yeah, she certainly is. Um, so you scored zero, but you know what? The Irish language apparently is one of the hardest languages in the world, uh, almost as hard as Maori. Wow, yeah. <laughs> If you say so. Well, I fingers crossed. <laughs> fingers crossed, folks, you don't score zero on Friday night. Yeah, okay. I mean, come true. on. So you got to tell us who you're playing against? Yeah, we're, we're playing against Tonga. Uh, and we've had a great week. Boys are all really excited. There should be some good flair. Should be a good, exciting game of game of footy. It's 7.30 on Friday night. <laughs> Get down there. Uh, the, good, the, late, the New Zealand, uh, sorry, the, the women's barbarians are playing before us as well, so um, come and check them out. Okay, cool. Yeah, they are taking on Munster Rugby, the women. That is around um, half past four, I think. And then I said the under 12s are playing in a blitz in between all the local clubs, and then you guys take to the pitch. All we can say is thank you so much, and Gunnarian Hall against Erishachthana. 
<laughs> go away, what? Like, what is that? She just asked me I said, it was. good luck at the weekend. She asked you, are you single? That's what she asked. <laughs> All right, uh, I also got to mention as well, for tickets, you can check out Ticketmaster.ie. There's a two-for-one offer, lads, right? Special. Two-for-one, calm down. Watch some exciting rugby. It's going to be great. All right. And can I also just add as well that I got into a little bit of trouble in the studio this morning because I didn't warn all the ladies of Spin South West that we had some rugby players coming in and they're all giving me grief up there. I know they're in the office now all uh, probably getting dolled up. But uh, yeah, they gave me an awful <laughs> lot of slack for not warning them in advance. Yeah, I would also like to say that Megan here, I've never seen her wear lipstick of a, of a morning. <laughs> like, I wear it every never, day. Never. She ne- this girl, I tell you, I, I didn't recognise her when she did her face. So I was like, who's my new co-host? She looks lovely, doesn't she? <laughs> she looks lovely. Oh, thanks. Oh, she's got really nice. <laughs>